TT's Market Grid widget allows you to view market data from many instruments across multiple exchanges in a clean and concise layout, earning it a place of prominence in many a trader's and broker's workspaces. In addition to viewing market data, the Market Grid also allows you to quickly place orders for the displayed instruments. In this video, we will talk about setting order defaults and launching the various order entry widgets. Here we have our pre-configured Market Grid with separate tabs for financial, grain, and crude oil markets. Before entering orders, let's check our default order quantities. Starting out, the default order quantity for all products on all exchanges is one contract. In order profiles, the default order quantity of one applies to all products, exchanges, and product types as specified by the asterisk or wildcard in each of these columns. We can also set default quantities for specific products by clicking Add Rule and filling out the appropriate fields. Let's set a default order quantity for the S&P Futures contract product to 5 by defining S&P as the product and Future as the instrument type. Check to make it active and click Save. Now, with all of our information before us and our settings configured, we can launch order entry widgets a number of different ways from directly within the market grid. Now, to quickly trade any instrument in your market grid, launch a floating order entry widget by clicking Bid Quantity, Bid, Ask, or Ask Quantity. We can also click a bid or ask at the available levels of depth, or we can click an open position. A floating order entry widget opens pre-populated with the selected value so we can quickly enter an order. We can click on the bid for S&P Futures, which will launch a green-bordered floating order entry ticket seeded with the bid price. We also see our default order quantity of 5. If we click our long position of 12 two-year U.S. Treasury Futures, a floating order ticket appears with a quantity of 12 already entered and set to the best bid. The quantity field in our floating order entry would also come pre-populated if we click on the last bid quantity or last ask quantity. We are currently using the default order ticket widget for floating order entry and have it set to close when an order is submitted. To change this, we can again go under Global Settings and select MD Trader as our default floating order entry widget. We can also have the floating order entry widget remain open after an order is entered by deselecting close after submission. With MD Trader as our floating order entry, we can easily place orders at multiple price levels. Instead of launching floating order entry widgets from the market grid, you can use linked widgets to not only trade, but also to see additional information for the selected instruments in the market grid. Linked widgets give you the power to dynamically change the content of multiple widgets in your workspace with a single click in the market grid. Here we have a market grid with the yellow bordered linked chart and linked time and sales widgets, which display the selected instrument in the market grid, allowing us to view additional market information about the selected instrument. We can launch a linked order entry widget, which will also display this instrument. We right click in the market grid, select Launch Linked, and choose Order Ticket. As we can see, this order ticket displays the selected instrument in the grid. This functionality is also provided by widget groups. One common grouping is to connect the order ticket to the market grid, which can be done by right-clicking in the title bar of the widget, selecting Group Widget, and then matching the colored edges. We can also use the market grid to launch a chart and a time and sales, which will also be added to the widget group. As you can see, not only does the market grid provide a customized view of many instruments across multiple exchanges, it's also a powerful tool for making trades. For more information, see our online help at tradingtechnologies.com. Stay tuned for additional demonstrations.